Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding two legends to the one chart in Microsoft Excel. So what I have here is a chart that's showing the over and under budget items, but I want a legend here. I want red for under budget and I want blue for over budget. So this is the data in the chart. It's all coming from this one column here and I have a video linked in the top right hand corner here that shows you how to create that chart. But what I'm interested in right now is having blue and red legends here. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign to add a chart legend. So I'm just going to click on legend. So that adds my legend here. I'm just going to increase the type. Now I don't have actual series here on the chart. I don't have series name. So we're going to put in our own and that would make sense because the word difference is simply not going to work for me in this situation. I'm going to the format and I am going to fill this shape with white. So that it is just going to go over the top of the line underneath. But to change the word series to something that's going to work better for me, I'm going to chart design and I'm going to my select data area. Here I'm going to select this series one and I'm going to click edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the series name. So I'm going to type in here what I want blue to show. And in this case, blue is overspend. So I'm going to type overspend. I'm leaving my range as it was and I'm just going to click OK. And so now we've got a legend on the chart that is saying overspend. But of course we also want to cover the situation where we've got an underspend which is red and I want to be able to identify that. So I'm going back to select data and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new data range and I'm just going to type its name here and this is going to be underspend. Basically this is the second item for my legend. Now the series values at the moment is just the number one. I'm going to type zero in instead. So you're just going to type zero between the brackets here and just click OK. That's all you need to do. You're going to click OK again. So now I can go to my legend item, right click and choose format legend entry. And I want to make this a solid fill. I want it to be the red color that is being used in my chart. So I'm just going to close this down. The other thing that I am obviously concerned about is everything's really squashed up here. And because we've just added what is effectively an empty data series to the chart, you'll see that everything is really close together. So I'm going to reselect my data series, right click and choose format data series. I'm going to these series options here and I'm going to increase the overlap. So I'm going to push these items so that they're notionally overlapping, but they're just overlapping something that isn't visible anyway. So I'm just going to increase those. I'm going to decrease the gap width. And so that's giving me a chart that is easier to read because the bars are larger. But you can see that the legend is there and we're able to change the values in the actual data. So if I change my amount spent here to 9,500, then the plot here is just going to change sides. Everything is still intact and we've got a double legend if you like that's showing the data in this two colored chart. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.